Hey guys, Pilar Ejuma here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use artificial intelligence, in this case, Chat GPT, which is an artificial intelligence tool to prevent Facebook from banning your ad account. You know that frustrating message you receive when you want to run advert or when you want to sell something to make money for yourself, only for you to get that notification that your account has been banned. It can be frustrating, right? So this video is specially designed to show you what you can do using artificial intelligence to prevent that from happening to you all right if it is your first time of joining me quickly hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bells so that you get notified of subsequent videos okay without further ado let us dive right into it all right welcome back friends now, before I go ahead and show you how to use AI chat GPT in this case to make sure that your ad account does not get banned by Facebook, here are three things that you need to understand. All right, if you don't want your ad account to be banned, you must ensure that you do these three things. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you verify your id your identity card before running ads this is the problem this is the main problem that most people have they just get a facebook account and they begin to run advert. and what happens is that once you begin to do this it triggers the it triggers uh, an ai that tells facebook that your account needs to be verified and once that happens Facebook is going to either restrict your account or ban your account. And if your account is restricted or banned without verification, it is usually very difficult to recover that account. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you verify your ID. If you don't know how to do this, I created a video, don't worry. I created a video. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description, all right? In the description of this video, you're going to see the link to watch that video. It doesn't matter whether you have a laptop or not. You can actually do that on your smartphone. You are going to be able to verify your Facebook ad account using your ID, okay? I showed you everything you need to know about that. All right, so the second thing that you want to do to ensure that your Facebook account does not get banned is make sure that you don't use before or after pictures, all right? Your images your Facebook image, advert images, make sure that you don't, something like what you are seeing here now, someone who has belly fat and who later got the belly fat cut off or something like that. You don't want to use images like this on your advert. If you do, automatically, automatically Facebook is going to ban your ad account. Okay, so there are so many other things about images, like you don't want to use too many tests on your images. If you have images that have so much test on it, all right, you see some images, they look like a church flyer or poster, stuff like that. When you have something like that on your Facebook, definitely, definitely, Facebook is going to ban your account, all right? So don't use before and after pictures. Don't have too many write-ups on your image. Use an image. You can use just simple, simple, you know, clear to the point test on your image that does not obscure the other parts of the image. All right, that's what you want to use on your images. Okay. And then your Facebook ad copy, you want to make sure that you are not making unverifiable claims. Okay. Claims that cannot be verified, claims that are too good to be true. Your ad copy is the test, the write-up that comes along with your images, your videos, all right? When people are viewing your videos, that write-up that you use to explain what your product is all about, all right? You don't want to make unverifiable claims. The same thing goes with the write-up on your landing pages, all right? You don't want to make unverifiable claims on your landing pages, okay? Something like what you are seeing here now, there is no proof of this right if, if facebook sees anything like this how to make 100 million dollars without doing anything or uh, discover how to grow rich without doing any work or selling anything 
automatically they are going to ban that ad account automatically. All right. So if you can be able to ensure that you don't do this, uh, what what can help you to make sure that your ad copy is compliant with Facebook advertising policy? Because a lot of people have come and say, look, you, you, you need to use this type of words. You need to, you need to use a uh, certain type of words to make sure that your ads are compliant. Now, what if there is a way to ensure, to be 100% certain that the ad copy you are going to be putting out there is compliant with Facebook advertising policy? All right, that is where Chat GPT comes in. But I'm going to be showing you how to use chat GPT, all right, to make sure that your ad copy is Facebook ad policy compliant, all right? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna share my browser, my browser now and show you how to access chat GPT and how to use it, not just to check, you can also use it to create ad copies that are compliant with Facebook advertising policy, all right? So let me quickly head over to ChatGPT and show you how to get this done. All right, so here is my browser, okay? This can be done whether you are using a laptop or a smartphone. You can do it on your smartphone, you can do it on your laptop. Just go to any browser and type in openai.com, all right? Openai.com, and you hit the enter button whether on your phone or your computer. All right, so it's going to take you to the home page of ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a powerful AI, artificial intelligence system that has been created to help us to solve major problems, to help us to achieve a lot of things that were formerly difficult for you to achieve, things that will move your business forward, things that will better improve your life, okay? If you, if you see what they wrote here about ChatGPT, it says, we've trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts in a conversational way. All right, that's what it does. So if you learn how to converse with ChatGPT, you converse with ChatGPT using what we call prompts. Prompts are sets of instructions that you tell ChatGPT for it to help you to solve your problems, to perform certain tasks. All right, in this case, we want it to check if our ad copy is compliant with Facebook advertising policy, okay? All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to give chat GPT that instruction and how to use it to write a more compliant Facebook ad copy, okay? But then you first of all have to log into chat GPT for you to be able to use it, okay? So what you have to do is you come look for where they say, try chat GPT, okay? Try chat GPT, so you click on it. And it's gonna take you to, all right. So if you are having difficulty, I'm already logged in. I'm already logged in. If you're having difficulty getting to this place, all you need to do is simply type chat.openai.com slash chat on your browser and to come to this place. All right, it will ask you to log in. So you can log in with your Gmail. You can log in with your Gmail. All right, you can log in with your Gmail. You can create a new account. It's a simple process of logging in into any platform. So once you log in, it will now uh, bring you to this interface. All right, this is what it looks like when you, when you are now in. Okay, this is where you put your prompt, you give chat GPT instructions of what you want it to do for you. All right, this is an amazing tool. A lot of, in fact, all, let me say 90% of the companies all over the world are using it right now to make life easier for them. Okay, all right. Of course, it cannot replace humans, all right, but it goes a long way to make life easier for humans, all right? So let me show you exactly what I mean. Now, you know that when you want to write an ad copy for your advert, you have to write it first on a notepad or a, a Microsoft Word processing document so that it will be easier for you to make correction and all of that before you now move it to 
Facebook or move it to your landing page. So here I have an ad copy that I've written. Let me open this. All right, this particular ad copy is for selling a health product, okay? All right, so you can see what was written here. Most people seeking health are doing it completely wrong. They are struggling with health problems, high blood pressure, all of this and all of that, okay? So now, if I go ahead and put this, I, I, may, I may not be able to be 100% sure. I may not be able to be 100% sure that this is compliant with Facebook advertising policy, okay? So what do I do? I have to copy this right up here, okay? But once I copy it, So once I've copied it, I will now go to chat GPT, all right, and then paste it here. All right. So when you paste something that you want to you want chat GPT to take a particular action on that write-up or whatever, you open it and close it with uh, quotation mark. All right. So I'll put quotation mark on top here where it started from, and then I'll come to the last line and then close the quotation, okay? Then I'll come down here and give ChatGPT the instruction, which is also known as prompt, all right? So pay careful attention now, pay careful attention to what I am going to tell ChatGPT to do with this ad copy now. So I'm gonna say, kindly check if this ad copy is compliant with Facebook ad, ad policy, okay? And then I'm going to say, okay. All right, so chat GPT, we check it. You can see as an AI, I cannot check if this ad copy is compliant with Facebook ad policy, subject to change. We, okay. Facebook has specific advertising policy, all right, all right. So, but look at this, it says, in this ad copy, the language used may seem may be seen as, as making misleading or deceptive claims. You can see this. I say, in this ad copy, the language used may be seen as making misleading or deceptive claims about health and wellness. It is important to ensure that any claims made about health and wellness are backed up by credible sources and evidence. Additionally, the use of all caps, exclamation points, and emotive language may, seem, may be seen as sensational or overly persuasive, which could be in violation of Facebook advertising policy. In conclusion, it is important to carefully review Facebook advertising policies. All right, so no doubt by saying this, that make that you are, it looks like the the ad copy is making misleading or deceptive claim about health and wellness. So that means that if you put this ad copy on your advert, Facebook, because ChatGPT is pulling this information from Facebook, and if ChatGPT is saying that it looks misleading or deceptive, Facebook is also going to see the same thing and they are going to ban your ad accounts. So what do you do? You are going to tell Chat GPT to rewrite that ad copy to comply with Facebook advertising policy. All right. So let's give Chat GPT that instruction. So we say, please rewrite to comply with Facebook ads policy. Okay. So we say, okay. All right. So when it's, when you see something like this, you simply refresh your browser and try again. Okay. So let's refresh our browser and try again. So normally everything that you have done with chat GPT will be recorded here. All right, so that's the beautiful thing about ChatGPT. So even if you were doing something before, you will always have it on the history panel here, okay, so that you can go back for reference purposes.
Okay. All right. So I want to rewrite what I asked Chat GPT to do. So I said, please rewrite to comply with Facebook ad policy. Okay, let me copy this. So you might have to try this severally. Let's refresh it again. It's usually network that causes that. Okay. okay it's working now. All right, so in this case, in this case is in this case is not rewriting it for me, all right? It's not rewriting it for me. All right, so what I am going to do, I'm going to go back to that ad copy and copy a part of it. So let me copy a part of this ad copy from here. And go back to chat GPT. And let's try to ask the same question again. Okay. Finally, check. if this is compliant with Facebook ad policy. Fantastic. So it's actually giving us fantastic. So you see what I did? So I copied the part of the ad copy and then I'm right at, I asked chat GPT to check if it's valid. So now, is actually checking it. Okay, so you can see it says based on Facebook advertising policy, the ad copy provide provided contains some potential problematic content that could violate their guidelines, specifically the use of phrases like freedom from disease and stop managing health. You can see that definitely if you post this ad copy, you are definitely going to get half issues. All right. Furthermore, the ad implies that it is impossible to achieve significant health improvements within a very short period of time, 15 days. You can see all of this. And so these are all these are all red flags, all right, that you can choose to change yourself or tell Chat GPT to rewrite it. So let's try to tell Chat GPT to rewrite it again and see whether you will agree this time. So let's say this. Rewrite to comply with Facebook ad policy. So you know, you notice what I did when I noticed that Chat GPT was not complying. I tried to reduce the amount of information. I copied the part of the ad copy and pasted it here, and then asked uh, Chat GPT to check. And Chat GPT was able to check, probably because it is not as much as the first time when I copied it. All right. So please rewrite to comply with Facebook ad policy. So let's see what he will say this time around. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and refresh my browser and try again. So you keep trying again, refreshing your browser until chat GPT response, okay? So, all right, fantastic. So it is now rewriting the ad copy for me. Fantastic, okay? You see, you can, it's, it's, it's rewriting the ad copy for me. Fantastic, right? All right, so you can see, say sure. I can provide the revised version of the ad copy that will comply with Facebook advertising co policies. And, and, and that's what it's doing here. It says, discover a natural approach to improving your health and well-being. Our program can show you how to balance your hormones naturally without expensive and medical procedures. Our goal is to help you achieve long-term health and vitality 
Our program is designed to provide you with abundant energy, clarity of mind, and overall physical wellness. If you are ready to take control of your health and transform your life, click the secure link below to learn more about our program. Our information is based on credible sources and provide a practical approach to achieving a healthier you. All right, so look at the explanation. It says, by using factual and realistic language that emphasizes the long-term benefits of the program, this revised ad copy should comply with Facebook advertising policies. Additionally, the landing page should provide clear and accurate information that is relevant to the product or service being promoted. You see that? So now, but we want this thing to be more colorful. Like it looks like, you know, just it looks a little bit boring, right? You want it to be more colorful. You want it to look like what you would create yourself. So, and you achieve that by the kind of prompt or instructions that we give chat GPT. So what you do is, okay, let's uh, add some color to the prompt. Okay, let's add some additional information and description to the prompt. So let's say in the tone of an experience, copy writer, rewrite, using the PAX framework. Now the PAS framework is uh, simply represents problem, agitate, and solution. So it's a framework that is used for writing copy. And of course, chat GPT understands this framework. So we are now giving chat GPT more information with which to work for us, okay? All right, so you say rewrite using the PAS framework use a persuasive a persuasive tone and bullet points where necessary okay so let's copy this so that it will be easy for me to paste it in case of network issue. All right, so let's go, let's see. Sure, I can provide you a persuasive ad copy that uses the PAS framework and bullet points where necessary. You see that? This is the PAS framework. First, you state the problem, you agitate the problem, and you solve the problem, and then I asked Chat GPT to use bullet points, all right, where necessary. You see the call to action here. This is amazing, right? This is more like, you know, this is more like, this is more like the way an art copy should be, okay? You can see, say, problem, that's the problem. Do you find yourself struggling with health problems such as high blood pressure, heart burn, indigestion, low energy, constant headaches? Do you feel like you? You are just managing your health instead of truly thriving, all right? The agitation, I agitate the problem, make it big. It's frustrating to feel like, so, you know, this framework now is designed to make, to move somebody to action, all right? So you cannot copy this. Another thing you can do is you can tell ChatGPT, look, write three captivating headlines for the art copy, okay? Okay, then you say go. All right, let's copy this. Network is bad. I have to refresh and try again. Okay. I see that. So these are three captivating headlines that we want to put that we attract people to read the ad copy. Discover the natural approach to vibrant health and well-being. Unlock the secret to balancing your hormones naturally in just 15 days. Say goodbye to health problems and hello to a hope. So any of this will not have issues with Facebook ads, right? Because you have passed through 
and AI. Because what Facebook uses to check your ad copy is AI first before humans. So when you use this to check first, you are making sure that that AI will not raise the red, red flag against your ad copy. So after you've done this, you can now go ahead, copy your ad copy, all right? You can now add some human touch to it by yourself. Maybe if you have a story, you can add or whatever. You can also use it as it is, all right? And then if you are using a smartphone, all right? So I hope you find this video impactful. I hope it has taught you one or two things. If you have learned something new, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos because I'm going to be posting videos every week to help you with your business, to help you to make more money online, all right, and to get to do things easier, all right, using internet-based tools, systems. And